Hey guys, <laughs> I was trying to set my camera up. Happy Good Friday. I hope that everyone is having a blessed Good Friday morning, a good start. And I just wanted to come on and talk to you about how do you endure suffering? We know that Jesus was obedient to the cross. He was really obedient to what? Death. He followed the Father's instruction. He said, not my will, but your will, Father. And he carried out his assignment. You know, but how do you behave in fiery trials? Because we know that fiery trials are there to make us stronger and to grow in our faith and to look more like our risen Savior. But how many of us want to go through those trials? And when you notice them, sometimes those trials are covered up and they look so different than what you would think they would appear as and so it takes the Holy Spirit to open in your eyes to see oh wait a minute this is an opportunity oh what you know I'm at my my job and I'm being falsely accused this is an opportunity oh what I had a friend betray me who I have trusted and loved and been nothing but good to okay wait a minute this is an opportunity what my marriage is under fire oh wait this is an opportunity wait my job is under attack wait this is an opportunity we have to look at the fiery trials as god says it's meant to make us to come forth as pure gold right and everybody likes the gold part but nobody wants to go through the refining process right but we have to understand it's part of the process, right? Jesus had to go through the fire. He had to suffer. He had to go to the cross. He took on all of our iniquity. Somebody that was perfect, he knew no sin, right? But it was part of the process to the road of redemption. Because he followed through with his assignment, you and I are called redeemed of the Lord. And so we are just made in his image. We are children of the most high God. So how much more us, we have to learn to use those tests and trials to glorify God, to glorify the Father. When Jesus was being mocked and persecuted and railed upon, he leaned down and he forgave the very people who he would maybe have the opportunity to save if they gave their life and come to believe on him. But he forgave them. He didn't hold on to that spirit of offense. He could have, but that would have separated him from God. And he wouldn't, he, he knew kingdom principle. He knew he couldn't have that offense in his heart to separate him from the father. And because that would be sin and God was perfect. So he looked down and he forgave them. We have a hard time forgiving little offenses because we get so upset with people when they talk about us, when they mock us, but who cares? You cannot let those kinds of things get into your heart. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. So I say that to you today, guard your heart. You know, when people accuse you, think about Joseph. Joseph went from the pit to the jail cell when just when he thought his life was turning around you know he got to be the ruler of pharaoh's house then his wife accused him of trying to sleep with her and then he went to jail i mean joseph never complained in any of this but he always gave god glory he still served the most high god even in jail he served the most high god what can we learn from this when you're accused as jesus and joseph were accused wrongfully accused you have to sometimes just wait not try to defend yourself but let god be your vindicator because time always tell the story but we sometimes want to vindicate ourselves we want everybody to know our side of the story but it's not always wisdom to do so the very evil that is being used against you could be what he's going to take you to the is, is what i'm sorry will be what will take you to the palace what will be the road that will take you to victory so you have to be very careful to let god take you to the pro through the process and to involve him in all of it you know when you feel that anger coming up when you feel frustrated when you feel like oh my gosh everybody's against me how could this happen to me when you have a health issue take it before the lord and ask him to give you the strength to endure what it is that he is doing in that hour with you what are the lessons that you want me to learn lord teach me what it is so i don't miss this opportunity
many people miss their opportunity of being refined by the by by the fire because they don't want that trial. No, let's face it, nobody wants the trial. Jesus didn't even want to go to the cross. He said, Father, if you could take this cup from me, but never mind what I think, never mind what this flesh wants. Let your will be, be Father. Let your will be, not mine. And that's what we have to learn to say when we're going through the fiery trials. Not my will, Father, but yours. So I want you to say that today. Whatever it is that you're going through, not my will, Father, but your uh, will. And don't complain about your test. Don't complain about your trial, but give it to God. Have a spirit of joy. Let the Lord be with you, though the waters may rise, though the fires may be all about. Let him be with you, okay? All right, guys, that's the only thing that I really wanted to come on and to really, you know, drive home to all of us as we remember Good Friday, as we remember God's sacrifice, is to stay faithful to the one who can save. You know, stay faithful to him. Don't get caught up in what other people are, are doing because you can't control other people's actions. Joseph couldn't control Potiphar's wife's action. He couldn't control his brother's actions. All he could do was trust in God and have control over himself, rule his own city. That's all we can do, right? When people come against us, when people do all manner of wicked things, we have to count it all joy, knowing that our God has plans for us to prosper. He has a purpose for us. He does have a hope and a future, and it may not even look like what we thought it would look like. Like I told you, a lot of times the road to victory is not paved in gold. There's a lot of pitfalls. There's a lot of traps, booby traps, <laughs> lots of scrapes and bruises. But in the end, if you stay sad, steadfast, there is victory. Hallelujah. So you all go into this day knowing that you are the head and not the tail. You are above and never beneath. And happy Good Friday. I love you all. Be blessed. Bye.